Another twist in the stateside Russia saga. Donald Trump's lawyers say they intend to sue the people behind the infamous dossier on alleged collusion with Russia. That's after a transcript of an interview with Glenn Simpson. One of the men behind the dossier was made public. His group, Fusion GPS, commissioned the report on the alleged Russia-Trump ties. And some Republicans say this led to the entire FBI investigation, despite it all containing salacious details that Trump himself describes as fake news. Now, a large part of Simpson's testimony is devoted to the meeting of Trump Jr. with a Russian lawyer. And one of the key moments for those uh, that was indeed for those who support the whole Russian collusion theory. Well, RT's Igor Zhdanov met that lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya, to discuss the latest revelations. You've known the person behind this testimony, Glenn Simpson, for quite a while now. Tell us more about how your relationship came about. We met for the first time in 2015, during my first visit to the United States. Before that, we exchanged emails. We were introduced by lawyers who were hired in New York to represent our client, a Russian businessman, in a case initiated by the notorious Mr. Browder in 2013. During our cooperation, he showed excellent information gathering and analytical skills, including the ability to distinguish truth from gossip. I was very excited about reading the testimony he delivered back in August. This long document of almost 300 pages covers two different topics. The first is the so-called Trump dossier. The second is about his relations with me. When last year I found out about the connection of Glenn Simpson to the Trump dossier, I could hardly believe it. You've mentioned a discrepancy between the quality of Simpson's work that you're used to and the quality of the infamous Trump dossier. Why did Simpson allow something like that to come out under his name? The Trump dossier is an anonymous report. If people who had been working on it did not admit that publicly, we would have never known the authors of the report. What raises questions is that the sources are not named. Why did words by unnamed and unverified sources form a basis for an investigation conducted by at least four different government bodies of the United States? Not only does this investigation distract politicians from real issues, but it is also wasting taxpayers' money. It focuses on many different things, while failing to establish who actually said them. Natalia Veselnitskaya has just mentioned Bill Browder, who is also mentioned by Simpson. He was an investor in Russia and later was accused of masterminding a large-scale tax evasion scheme. His attempts to lobby against Russia was one of the main talking points between Veselnitskaya and Donald Trump Jr. Among the talking points disclosed in the memo, besides the Russia-Trump collusion, of course, Bill Browder. In it, Simpson slams the former businessman on several occasions, accusing him of being obsessed with Russia while being actively implicit in tax avoidance schemes and even money laundering. Can you give us your judgment on the situation? Browder is obsessed with Russia. He is tied to Russia not only by his desire for revenge, but also mentally. Here in Russia, he got married to a Russian woman. He has half-Russian children. His ties to Russia are nearly as strong as mine. After all his crimes, he should be grateful to Russia for not throwing him behind bars while it was still possible. Notwithstanding the gravity of the allegations, Mr. Browder too testified before the U.S. Congress during the summer of 2017, mainly talking about the alleged complicated collusion scheme. Mr. Browder, you have given us a first-hand insight into Putin's Russia. You may have done more to fight corruption worldwide than any other individual, and I appreciate what you have done. Thank you for uncovering the facts, and I'm sure how I can tell it's difficult to talk about the life and tragic death of, of uh, your friend and someone who was your colleague. I want to join my colleagues in thanking you for being here today and admiring your courage and tenacity. Do you think the U.S. perception of Mr. Browder will change following the publication of Simpson's testimony? I don't want to sound naive, but I really hope this hysteria will end with a victory for common sense.